let's look at how to export and mount directories using NFS. So first of all, I have two machines, a client and a server. And I'm going to go ahead and start the server, and I'm going to install NFS. So in order to get that, you can do a, let's go ahead and switch over to root, some pseudo minus I. Now, once I'm over here, I can do an apt install NFS kernel server. So NFS kernel server. This will install the, the kernel server and other packages. You want to note there are things like RPC bind and NFS common, things like that, which are going to be installed. And then some of these services are going to be started automatically. So RPC bind is started automatically. And after RPC bind is started, then it starts up the NFS client and the NFS server and other things like that all get started up. All right. So now it is up and going. I can do a system, let's go that, system CTL status for NFS kernel server. And you can see that it is both enabled and it is actively running. So that's the first thing you need in order to be able to run this. Next, you want to verify that the RPC bind is there. It should be there, but RPC bind, RPC bind is also there and it is running and that is what provides the ability for the client and the server to talk about what services are running and to be able to get up and going. All right. So now I want to go ahead and create my exported directory so i'll make a directory so i'll call this a uh, nfs export so nfs export so now that the nfs export directory has been created i'm going to go ahead and export it so the first thing you do is to edit your etc exports file and then you have some examples and how to do things. We're going to copy that NFS for example, and we're going to export the NFS exports directory. Export exports, NFS export directory. And uh, I'm going to export it to everybody. So just do a little star there. And then I have some options I'm going to do. So I'm going to read, write. I want to do a sync. And I want to do a no subtree check. All right. Now, this right here will allow me to export the directory, and this should be pretty good for taking care of most of my issues right now. So let's go ahead and exit. And we can go into our uh, NFS export directory and take a look. There are no files here. I'm going to go ahead and create one. So I'll do a touch. So server1.txt. So you can just kind of see there is a file here and it's from the server. Now I'm going to export the directory and do export, export fs minus a. And that will export all of my directories in that file. If I want to see which ones are being exported, I can do an export fs minus s or i can just run it by itself and you can see what's being exported all right now it's being exported and i want to have the client to go ahead and mount the directory so let's go ahead and switch over to root so do sudo minus i and usually you want to have mount mounted directories in some place that makes sense so i'm going to go to the mnt directory where I can create my mount point here. So I'll make a directory, and this will be my um, NFS, NFS. So it doesn't matter if the name matches, I'm just gonna create a directory called NFS, and I want to mount the NFS exports here. Now in order to do that, I need to install some packages, so I'll do an apt install, NFS common, let's get the common packages which should allow me to then mount the directory. 
Now I know what the directory is coming from the server, but I don't necessarily know what it is. So I can do an um, a show mount minus E option and tell it I want the server. And then it says, oh, the NFS export directory is being exported to everybody from the server. All right. Well, that's good news because then I can mount it. So I can do a mount. And then I need to tell it the name of the server. So in this case, server. And what directory is being exported. So this one is NFS export. And the mount point where it's being mounted to. So the mount point that I am going to be mounting it to is this newly created directory called NFS. I can do a slash MNT NFS or I can just do NFS because I'm already in the MNT directory. Either way, this will get it mounted. So I mount the directory and I go into the NFS directory. I can take a look and see there is a server1.txt file. Now, this is where we run into some permission problems and things like that. I am currently logged in as root on the client machine and root on the server machine is not the same. If I try creating a file, so touch client1.txt, it says permission denied. Well, why is that? Well, it's going across as a different user. So I could maybe make permissions a little easier. So if I take a look, it has permissions read, write for this local route, but not for the exported one. So I can change permissions. So I do a chmod 777 and the current directory. I can do that and then switch over to this and then try running this again. And it creates it. And I can take a look and see, oh, Client one was created with the nobody user in the no group, which is interesting. If I take a look over here, same thing, nobody user, no group. I can change my export FS file or the exports file to change how it's being exported. So I do a nano on the EDC export file, and there is an option for not smashing my root. So this is a really dangerous thing to do. So it's uh, not always a good idea, but you can do this. No root squash. So what that'll do is export it in a way that the root user on the other machine is going to be root user here. That does create a huge vulnerability because I can then set permissions and things like that and do bad things. But we'll go ahead and do this anyway because it's educational, right? All right, now I'm going to re-export my directory. So export fs minus a, re-export it, export fs minus s. You can see that it is being exported as a no root squash. All right, so now let's take a look at the files. So there's this client one that's been created. Now let's go ahead and do a touch client two. And look over here. And if I take a look, I can see there's a client two, but the client two is now owned by root. So the root on the client machine became the root on the server machine. And that can be important. I can now change my permissions on the server, 755 to my current directory. So now it is only read write by root. And I can do a touch client three over here. And you can see that it is once again exported correctly and it's set correctly. If I wanted to create something inside of here, I could have extra users and I just need to make sure the permissions are set correctly so that they can use it and be fine. What if the client wants to be able to mount automatically at boot time? Well, I can do that as well. So I'll do a nano on the ETC FS tab or file system table. And I will create an entry in here. Now, one thing you need to make sure you know for sure is that you are not going to have a problem where the server isn't up. Because if the server isn't up, bad things happen. So I want to do my mount point as my server dot, uh, I'll just server slash, 
NFS exports export <clears throat> and I'm going to mount it to the MNT and NFS directory and it is a type NFS and let's do defaults here zero and zero all right so now I have created this entry you want to make sure you test every time you make a new entry in there to make sure it's done correctly. And the way you can test it is get out of the directory first of all. And I can do U-mount NFS and see if it mounts unmounts correctly and then type in a mount NFS. If it has some kind of a problem, then you need to fix that. Let's also do this. System CCL Daemon reload. All right. Now, if I look at my uh, NFS directory, I can see it's mounted correctly. I can do U mount NFS. Um, and so you can make sure that you can always mount it and unmount it. And if you can mount it and unmount it without any problems, then you should be fine. But remember, the server has to be running in order to have the client connect. It does create some issues if you shut down the server, if you're in the directory, and other things like that. So just be aware of that. NFS is a little bit touchy to disconnect servers. But this should help you figure out how to use NFS to export directories, how to then mount the directories, and then how to have it set up so it mounts automatically.